Hello Pinnacle Professional users, Steve Tapner here. This short video is to help you complete your 3A, your Form 3As in your New South Wales prescribed parts uh, registers. The 3A register is the information about the vehicle. This video is about how you record all of the necessary information about the vehicle to, um, to complete that register and then can subsequently sell parts of that car those transactions are the rest of the information that's recorded in 3A. Just to begin with, we'll have a quick look at this MVR that I've got highlighted here. What's important when we open the MVR is that the Prescribed Parts tab is available to us. If we're a New South Wales site, that's important. If for any reason the Prescribed Parts tab wasn't uh, visible, it's just a simple uh, right-click option in the white space next to the Available tabs go to show view, go to prescribe parts, and you'll introduce that into the MVR. This is a good place to put it, I believe, at the bottom of the cost tab, because some of the information that populates the necessary fields for the prescribed parts actually come from the cost tab. The other information comes from the regular places where you're entering the detail of the vehicle, such as the VIN, for example, entered there, will appear as the required VIN uh, here in the register entry and in the subsequent printed version of this that Office of Fair, Fair Trading may ask you for. Any information that's, uh, that's not entered or that's not appearing it can be entered in a relevant field. Registration number is one of those. Even if the car is not registered, um, that field shouldn't be left blank in the prescribed parts. Office of Fair Trading accepts NA. So you'll see if I enter NA there, and I come over here into the prescribed parts tab, I've now populated that field. Got a couple of other fields here that are still blank, um, and I'll just show you, touch upon how you enter those. Engine number, entered back here. Sooner or later, when that becomes available, enter it there, and it will populate this field. Um, the acquired from, or the vendor, the person you bought the vehicle from, that's coming from up here in the cost tab. There's some extra information there that we should enter. So if I I'm going to edit mode on that and I come into that field next to uh, who we bought it from and I enter something that perhaps identifies their invoice number and I save that information you'll see that it's now populated this field down here. Likewise with acquired date <coughs> I need to go there. Let's say I bought this car last week. Click outside that field just to save that there and you see that it's populated this field down here. Um, with the vendor pickles I had there uh, prescribed identifiers on file, so it's populated these fields down here. So virtually that is now completed the top of Form 3A, we have all the information about the vehicle and we can go ahead and sell parts of it and those sales will be recorded, will be recorded in the lower part of the screen and will show in the printed register if we're, asked, if we're required to print one. One question that New South Wales sites sometimes ask is what about the disposal of the car at the end of its life on your site. Do we have any record that shows us when that car went to our scrap company? Uh, one option that you can take is to add in a part type called complete vehicle, um, which you can see I've got here. Just bear with me for a sec. You can see that I've got um, here part type called complete vehicle. And I have the option when I send the car to scrap of in fact selling it to my um, scrap car company selling it to my, to my metal recycler. Uh, I can scrap the car as the step is in Pinnacle or I can sell the car complete or I can do both just depending on how my yard is organised what's necessary to um, achieve my objectives. Uh, just to explain how that what else would be needed to actually make that work I need to go to the um, in management menu and go to prescribed parts and I go to the prescribed parts list and I add complete vehicle into that list along with the other parts that are specifically the prescribed parts in New South Wales. As I said that gives me the option then to sell complete vehicle to my scrap company and the and that transaction the details of it will appear in the uh, form 3A register that can be generated. Um, so there you go I hope that's helpful um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.